welcome. This week, Prime Minister Narendra Modi broke his silence of over a year and said that the killing of people by cow vigilantes is unacceptable, that no person in this country had the right to take the law into his or her own hands. The Prime Minister said this a day after the Aam Aadmi across the country protested against mob attacks in a campaign called Not In My Name. The Prime Minister was speaking at the Sabarmati Ashram in Gujarat, his home state, which is going to the polls soon. Hours after the Prime Minister's remarks, though, a man was killed in Jharkhand for allegedly carrying beef in his van, which was set on fire. Today on We the People, we're asking, is India hurtling towards a mobocracy under Prime Minister Modi's watch? Who is going to control the mob? On the show tonight, Vikramjeet Banerjee from the BJP, from the RSS, we have a Rakesh Sinha, we have Zafar Sareshwala, Gujarat-based businessman and the Chancellor of the Maulana Azad National Urdu University, Hyderabad, Mr. Sanjay Hegde, he's a member of the National Campaign Against Mob Lynching, Karunanandi, lawyer and human rights activist, and Vikram just Singh, lawyer, just, lawyer. just lawyer, Karunanandi, and Vikram Singh, who's a former DGP of UP. Let's go across to you, Vikramjeet, first. The Prime Minister's statements were notable, notable in part because he speaks so rarely on such an issue. Yet after this statement, just a few hours after, another Indian lost his life at the hands of a frenzied mob fueled by disinformation and allegations. Is it too little too late? No, I think the Prime Minister made, you know, all of us know that the, uh, um, it's the state which has the duty of law and order under the Constitution. And um, so the Prime Minister made a statement and the Prime Minister told the people what he actually felt on the issue. The entire question of how to control the mob is a peculiar, is a law and order issue and the state has dealt with it wherever that has arisen. So whichever state, it's but the But most of, of the these state. cases are in BJP rule states. Most of the country that is I, BJP you know, rule I, now. I, I don't think that's fair. These are local incidents and these happen because of local circumstances. No, but if your and argument is that prejudge. this is a law and order -ish situation, the law and order comes under the state government. So the wherever, government the wherever. Government. And these are, this is actually a law and order issue. So whichever state. And I'm not saying that it's only a BJP rule state. There may be non-BJP rule states as well. Because if you remember a few days back, I remember that a certain incident happened also in, in West Bengal. Correct. So, which is completely anti-BJP uh, state. So these things happen. And it's not that it uh, doesn't happen, it happens. So uh, it depends upon the state. And it's a law and issue which the state Sanjay should Hegde, these things happen. This is a law and order problem. It's got nothing to do with the BJP. Well. You, you know, he reminded me on, almost of uh, Narsema Rao, who said, you know, it's not that I don't do nothing, but I think about it and decide that nothing can be done. This kind of sitting on your hands, saying that, you know, these things happen, they should not happen. It's a question of will, <coughs> administrative will. Let me just tell, get out of this uh, uh, BJP Congress thing. I was told, first time Chief Minister, a cinema star, N.T. Ramarao, when he came to power, you see, he was, uh, Hyderabad was always communally sensitive. Somebody who was in that room told me that the police chief came to uh, call on him. Hmm. He looked at him and said one thing, look, I don't want riots. They don't benefit me. They don't benefit anyone. Now, if that message goes that lynchings don't benefit me, do not benefit anyone, a lot of things will be sorted out. So it's about the message. <laughs> Rakesh, it's a question of will, says Sanjay. Yes, we agree the Prime Minister has no control over a mob in Jharkhand or Rajasthan, but does he have control over his own ministers? You had the Home Minister of Rajasthan, who is the person in charge of law and order, right? The police reports to him, who initially came up with a statement that made it very clear where he stands on this issue. Of, I'm talking about the Pelukan lynching, right? Is the police getting a message from the BJP? The right. chief minister didn't speak for at least a month. You had a BJP uh, MLA also who said that he uh, condones what happened with Pelukan because he was a cow smuggler, he said, even though he's not, he's a dairy farmer. Before coming to that, lynching of anyone, any part of the globe, for any region is unjustified, not merely condemned, but those who are involved, they are the criminals, they should be treated by the state in a brutal manner. But it keeps be happening again no, and look, again. It keeps happening. I'm not going to these regions, only these regions that cause slaughter and other things. You know, you have to go some fundamentals of the Indian society. 
that we are still a feudal society, highly ritualistic society, which leads to certain violence. I am giving examples. 26 witches, so-called witches, have been lynched in Jharkhand. Same number of witches lynched in Orissa. They were also human beings. Five people were lynched in Nadia. I am not calling that the Hindu and Muslim. Because when we re-emphasize the number of people of each community and that community, then there is a more chance of polarization. So first task of our, we, we, we I am coming to that. I am coming to the, 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 the look what politicians are doing, Muslims. what politicians are doing of any party that should then be condemned. why do you say you want a Hindu let, rash let, to serve? Why not just call it India? Let me, if we, if you don't want to speak about the if you want, if you want to have discussion on Hindu rast, I am we'll responding to the Hindu rast because I say Hindu rast is an adjective, not an objective. This is a difference between we are a civilizational state. We are not like America and Europe. We have a long civilization of 10,000 year old. When a civilization is being depicted as a Hindu rast, that is a cultural nation, not the theocratic nation. First, understand so our meaning. So, how is a Hindu rast yes. separate from the, the yes. citizenship that we have? There, I'm, I'm coming to. Yes, very, very good question. In theocratic state, there is a discrimination between the one religion to other religion. India does not have any tradition of discriminating between religions. No, but more religions. specifically, how yes. is your Hindu rast yes. distinct from the India and the constitution? And what you have been calling the idea of India that All we right. have I now. Like, can yes, we just, I'm let's answering, just get back. Let's just, this is no, no, we can have a separate debate no, on the Hindu no, Rashtra no, separately. But very specifically Sarah, what has, he's saying is that it. don't mention community. I've already None asked that. Question. 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 We wish to speak about constitution. The victims are Muslim. I understood. I understood. She has raised a very basic right to life. She has raised very pertinent question. I am not escaping from the question. I welcome this question. When I say it is an adjective, there is nothing different from the present India. That the cultural symbols, cultural legacies, intellectual legacy should be given prominence. That is our character so of the India. So do you believe in secularism which is currently in the constitution? Present, present, const present the constitution, the pre from. present secularism is a pseudo secularism where mandatory appeasement is the fundamental of the secular values. So That's you think why the Hindu Rashtra is no different from the India we have now? Why is it? No, your party there should not be mandatory appeasement. One second, one second. Look, look, we can debate this. We can debate this. Since the cows come home, pardon the pun, in studios, in air conditioned studios, let's go across to somebody who's actually affected by the issue that you're talking about. Let's go across to Mohammed. No, I have not answered because he has interrupted. But sir, you, you got into your own argument and we need to stay on track. Give me 30 seconds, I'm completing. When you are giving ideological and political color to crime, then crime remains unaddressed and there are elements who are going to London and Lahore, not for the concern for the human rights. They are going to London and Lahore to Create an equivalence between Pakistan and India. There is, look, India is an orderless state like Pakistan. So I condemn those people who are going to London and Lahore for the law and order issue of India. It is our issue. We will fight, uh, fight out. We, we we please don't, don't right, interrupt. Right. Please don't we interrupt. Need to please don't interrupt. Please don't interrupt. Please don't interrupt. They are, they are, they are, they are highly, they are highly a political person. Mr. Sinha, we're moving on. All right, you responded. Like Karuna, one second. One second. Mr. Sinha says there's an ideological color being given. Let us talk of crime in that case. Let us talk of crime in that case. Yes. Huh. Ideological color has been given to crime. Let's talk to somebody who's actually been affected by this. This is Mohammad Azruddin. He is Junaid's cousin. First of all, um, Azruddin, we're extremely sorry for your loss. There's nothing that one can say or do that would take away the pain or bring any peace of mind. But you were at this protest that took place in the capital, not in my name. When you saw the crowds that came out in support of you and other families who've lost their loved ones in these lynchings, does that bring any kind of solace? My first question is that if it was only a religious idea, it would not be a seat issue. Rakesh Shena will tell it to a seat issue. Sambit Patra will tell it to a seat issue. That it is a seat issue. And we are saying that when a young man asked it to a seat, he gave it to a seat. When he asked it to a seat, he gave it to a seat. So it was given 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 to a seat. हाशिम उसने मुझसे ये कहा उस, उसने उनका कहा भाई आप इस तरह धक्के क्यों दे रहे हैं तो वहाँ उनमें से एक बंदे ने कहा कि आप पाकिस्तानी हैं सर आप ये बताइए क्या आप किसी को भी पाकिस्तानी कह देंगे उसने उससे ये कहा आप देश दुरोही हैं उसने उनसे ये कहा है बल्कि उससे पहले उसने टोपी उतारी नीचे इस तरह पैर के नीचे सर आइडेंटिटी कहाँ जाएगी आइडेंटिटी को देख के तो अटैक किया जा रहा है और उसके बाद फिर उन्होंने ये कहा कि आप पाकिस्तानी आप गाय का गोश्त खाते हैं ये गाय का गोश्त खा के आई हैं पंद्रह साल का बच्चा है सुबह चार तीन सैंतालीस से 
शाम में सात बज के बाईस मिनट तक रोजा रखा है आप कह रहे हो गोश्त खा के आए हैं हम पानी तक नहीं पीते आप खाने की कैसे सोच सकते हैं इस चीज में आइडेंटिटी का मतलब आइडेंटिटी इनको पसंद नहीं है कोई अपने मजहब पे सर चढ़ कर रहे अपने मजहब पे खूब कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन है जिस तरह राइट टू फ्रीडम दे रखी है राइट टू जो रिलीजन दे रखी है रिलीजन को प्रैक्टिस करने की प्रोपेगेट करने की उसको जो हमें जो फ्रीडम दे रखी है कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ये नहीं चाहते क्योंकि मुसलमान इस देश के अंदर इस तरह नहीं चाहते यही तो एक चीज है मैम वहाँ आई विट ने जिस हाशिम के ऊपर हमला किया गया वो तो जिंदा है ना उसने तो उस चीज को झेला है ना उसके दो चाकू लगे ना वो भी तो आई विटनेस है हम कह सकते हैं कि देखने वाले आई विटनेस जो और जिनके ऊपर नहीं भी थी वो वो लोग सामने नहीं आ रहे किसी डर की वजह से बहुत से लोग डर की वजह से नहीं आ रहे लेकिन जिसके चाकू मारे गए वो जो अभी जिंदा हैं दो भाई जिंदा हैं वो भी मेन आई विटनेस है हमारे पास एंड हाउ इज दिस चेंज आपकी जिंदगी कैसे चेंज हुई हैज इट अफेक्टेड द वे यू चूज टू ड्रेस द वे यू बिहेव मैं ओपनली एक चीज कहना चाहता हूं कंस्ट्रक्शन पर हमारा हाउस है हमें उसमें आजादी दे रखी है मजहब जिस तरीके से चलेंगे ये दो चार सरफिरे लोग ना इस हमें देश मजहब पर चलने से नहीं रोक सकते हमें पूरी आजादी दे रखी है ये सिर्फ लोग नहीं रोक सकते मजहब पर चलने से All right, let's go across to Mr. Zafar Sareshwala. He's joining us now from uh, Bombay. Mr. Sareshwala, you were one of the most prominent faces of Prime Minister Modi's campaign in 2014. Is this the new India, where whether you get a seat on a train or a bus is decided not by the fact of whether you have bought a ticket or whether you came there first, but on your religion? In fact, coming to the mood point uh, on which you started, uh, the Prime Minister's speech, which he made in Ahmedabad. I mean, I can't imagine uh, such stern, very clear-cut, unequivocal message. Now, this message of the Prime Minister is to his own people, particularly the those state governments and his people who have been coming on the television channels and not behaving like BJP spokesperson, but in time wrap of Hindu Mahasabha. so prime minister's message was very clear to his people now i have this axiom right from the beginning these kinds of things will continue happening till the perpetrators of the crime are not brought to book and exemplary punishments not given now after that in say uh, uh, the prime minister's stern message because i have been observing i have been after particularly in this ballabad case i have been after the haryana government i have also been speaking to the people in uh, uh, in jharkhand and also i spoke to the people in madhya pradesh so i have been after them and my only concern is i don't want a tweet from you i don't even want that you go to their homes we don't want anything we don't want any lip service from you all we want that the perpetrators of the crime should be brought to justice and the haryana chief minister has assured that the perpetrator we have arrested 15 people we have zeroed uh, two main accused have been inside one accused we have zeroed and we are going to make it a watertight case and we'll set an example they have also said that we have given 10 lakhs of rupees nothing that 10 lakhs will not solve anything but this is just a gesture and they also said we are going to offer a job to one of the person from the family now i am only i only want that the rule of law should prevail and one more thing such incidents also happened in gujarat two incidents which i know of one gentleman ayub was killed seven people have been in jail the lower court had rejected their bail high court has rejected their bail one person who is arrested is a functionary of vhp in una dalits were skinned and something happened in gujarat even those people are in jail so unless and until law does not take course and it is the duty of the state government and i think the prime minister's stern message is to his own people and i think it is working now